Welcome to another tutorial for the Component Studio 2 Alpha. I'm Andrew Voigt, and today we're going to be looking at the basics of styles. Styles are a tool to help you format the text that appears on your design assets. When setting up a text asset, under Text Formatting, there's a drop down called Default Styles. This is the primary place you're going to enter styles. You can select the drop down to choose from a list of currently available styles or you can type them into the text box. You can even combine multiple styles on the same text block. To do that, you're going to enter each style you're combining in the text box separated by a comma. Here in this example, this text is using both the style I set up called title and the default style B. This is referring to the card name on the left, which in this case is Thunderstorm. You can see the currently existing styles that are accessible by this design, as well as create additional styles under this button here. It's available both in the designer and the dataset editor. Your list of styles appear in the center here, and you can create new ones by clicking the button on top. If we open a style, you'll see a lot of different attributes that you can assign to that style, including font settings, outline, drop shadow, overline, line through, an underline, or additional advanced settings. Each of these tabs have additional settings within them. Now think of a style as a portion of the formatting that applies to a font. The default setting for each font attribute in a font style is inherit. Looking at this style, B, the only attribute actually set is the font family. It's set to the bold version of our font. So that means if we apply this style to a text asset, the only thing it's going to change from the default is the font that is used. And that way, things like the font size or the font color will be carried over from the default style for that asset. So let's go back and look at the thunderstorm for the example. If I remove the B style from here, note that the text on my title is no longer bolded. Now let's put that back in so you can see it again. So you can apply styles at the default level for a text asset. In this case, we have both styles title and B assigned to this text asset. Let's look at another example on this card in the flavor text. In this one, we're only using the style description, which is a custom style I set up for this. Let's look at that real quick. So the style I've set up for the description is my font in italic and I have it set to a smaller font size of 25. And this is going to be your typical use of styles. Two last notes on styles that I want to make sure you're aware of. First of all, when you have multiple styles in the default styles, and they both have an entry in a specific attribute, for example, font. In this case, both title and B have fonts selected in their font family box. The one that gets prioritized is the one that's furthest right in the default styles box. Secondly, some of the keen eyed viewers here may have noticed that in the word region, my G is cut off a little bit. Letters that hang down can sometimes get cut off a little bit based on the formatting. An easy way to fix this is looking in styles, opening the respective style, Go down to Advanced, and add padding. Oftentimes two pixels will be sufficient, but you'll see that letter that underhang is now fully visible. And that's all I've got for you today on basic styles. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment here or in the Component Studio group on Facebook. I hope this one was helpful, and let us know whatever topics and areas will be helpful to you. After all, I'm here to help you make the best games you can. This was Andrew Voigt, 
with the Component Studio 2 Alpha. Thanks for watching.